Hi everyone, <clears throat> welcome to part three of building the GT40 chassis from our laser cut uh, tube pack. Right, so we're going to finish the um, bottom rails off a bit further and um, start making the cockpit a bit more three dimensional. So for this video we need a T10016 which goes at the very front of the chassis, an 18, two 17s, an 11 and this foot well plate. Need all eight of the V1001 40 by 40 tubes, four V1007 20 by 20 tubes, two T10052 which are 40 by 20 tubes and T2007 T2007 L, which goes on the left hand side of the cockpit and the second of the T1006 tubes okay so as before uh, just going to clamp the bits in place tack them gently and um, kind of laid out in the right areas at the moment and get on to making the three dimensional stuff uh, which is a little bit more fiddly Okay, so here's something that's very useful. I'm going to use it now on this stage. Uh, magnetic clamps. And something to be careful or aware of with uh, welding while you're using these is that the magnetic field will affect the arc of the um, welder. So you need to try and clamp a little way from where you're going to be welding. Um, otherwise you'll get a bit of a messy weld. Okay, next bit is to uh, fit the footwell plate where the pedals and stuff are going to bolt. Um, it goes flat on the bottom of the chassis and then we've got this uh, T1 0011 tube that fits across it. Only thing really to be sure of is that, I mean it's cut so it can only really go in one place just to make sure that it runs parallel with this tube by doing a couple of measurements.
Okay, next I'm going to put these 40 by 20 T1 0052 tubes in. On my case, in my case, just following the jig. Uh, in your case, you'll just need to uh, put them in so that the shapes match, uh, and just give them a double check on that they're equal either side. Right, that's got that in. So the next thing is we'll start locating the V1001 tubes. Right, okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just check that none of the tacks that I've put in on the lower levels are going to interfere with setting these V1001 tubes up from going up vertically. So I'm just going to uh, go around and with an angle grinder just buzz off anything that could be getting in the way. And at the same time, on the front edge here you'll notice that there's only there's two pegs because I've kept these universal but there's only one hole so we need to just grind off one of the holes so that sits in in flat Right, so we go around, fit the V1001 tubes, um, and we'll use the clamps, and we'll just tack them gently, uh, just to hold them in place to start with.
Here we go. All the vertical, main vertical tubes located. Now it's the slightly tricky thing of putting the first of the T2 tubes on top of those and lining them up. Um, slightly fiddly because you've got quite a lot of, of uh, locators to fit at the same time. So I'm going to use a bit of uh, camera trickery and fast forward that bit in case it looks a bit embarrassing. But before I do, one little uh, point I need to make. This T1006 tube, like the one on the bottom, you've just got to be careful of the orientation of the holes. So you need a set of holes pointing down and a set of holes pointing backwards. Right, there we go. All together. No dramas. Um, right, and then just to finish this uh, section off, we'll put the uh, cross tubes in the V1007s. That'll just stiffen everything up and make sure that everything's held square. Um, and we've got ourselves a bit of a cockpit. And then we'll move on and I'll do the next part in another video, I think. So there we go, we're trying to get a uh, bit of a structure together now, the cockpit's coming on and um, in the next video we'll take that further and start putting more and more of the cockpit together and the engine bay, um, but as you can see it comes together pretty quickly. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like if you'd like it and um, you'll get automatic updates when the next video is ready to watch. Cheers. Thank you.